We are doing Locals Recommend Food for 24 hours in Hanoi, Vietnam. <laughs> It's not sitting good at the moment. <laughs> So, Vietnam has some of the best food in the world, especially Hanoi. It is considered food hub of Vietnam. So, Vietnamese food is fairly healthy. They use minimal dairy and fats. It's typically light meals um, with a little bit of meat and then it really gets its freshness from the herbs and vegetables. The rules of the challenge. We have to ask a local where they recommend. We have to eat where they recommend, and if they recommend a certain dish, we have to eat that. Last time we were here, all we ate was pho and banh mi. Now this time, we're not allowed any pho, we're not allowed any banh mi. So we've got to hopefully eat something that we haven't had before, and try and find some dishes that you wouldn't normally expect or you wouldn't normally pick yourself. Just sitting in the garden and had an idea. What I'm going to do is approach somebody and ask them where is a good place nearby to eat. And that is where we'll go for dinner. So let's see what happens. Oh, there's a gentleman there. Xin chào. No, you don't know? Okay. Uh, which way? Which way? Maybe this way? This way. We have a feeling that our wording is wrong. So we're going to resort to our trusty friends who live in Vietnam. And we're texting them now to send us what we should be saying to uh, make it make sense. Just in case what we're saying doesn't make sense. Come on, Matt and Hannah. It's a gel. Hmm. Oh. I like it. Just out there. So if I, so on the on the mats, where would it be? Nó không gì. Up here. Nó ra chỗ này nó xuống như này là coi như nhiều hàng ăn nhất. Other side. Other side. Okay. Come on. Come on. So we got to, let's go up here. So I don't know if that actually works. But he's pointing to the other side of this building. So I don't know if he actually understood what we meant. Come on! <laughs> right, we've got to cross over then. So he's pointed down here. So this must be Holy fuck. Kind of across the road in Vietnam as well, by the way. Down there. Okay. Come on. Okay, so down here and to the left. Maybe that was a success. We don't know yet. He didn't give us a spe specific place, but We'll walk down here and see what's about, I guess. We have passed a restaurant, so I feel like he's not just taking us, he's not just showing us where a restaurant is, because that was the closest one. So, maybe it worked. We can always ask somebody else. In fact, there's loads of restaurants here. So to the left, he said, yeah? Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Crazy, crazy. Oh, don't stop, don't stop. Xin chào. Can you show? 
bè đấy anh lấy cái cưa không có ấy dậu cái đại cưa bên cạnh dậu Yeah. Can you show me? Alright. What's it called? Two kilometers. Two kilometers. And the name? Okay, two kilometers. Foco. Foco. Yeah. That way. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So we've been in a different direction now. <laughs> I think the translation is definitely off. Although he understood roughly. He kind of knew what we meant. Hello. Uh. You speak English? No. No, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> ah, come on. Thank you. Right, we have somewhere. So we are going for a Vietnamese rice dumpling for dinner. Yeah. How do you, cool. you feel about that? Hey, I never tried it. No, never tried it. So it is eight minutes away. Let's have a look. Let's be this one. Yeah. But where do we sit? Yeah. Right, so Bangio. This is where we were recommended. Yeah, sit in. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So this is what we got. The rice. Yeah, so you got rice and then you got pork inside. You gonna go for it or do you mean? It's good. For me, it's like gelatinous. gelatinous. Is it like a meat pie? Oh no, you don't like it. Oh no, why? It's just uh, it's like jelly surrounding meat. Try it with this meat. Is that a cucumber? Yeah. Maybe a gherkin. Mm. That's good. And I don't know what that is. Looks like pate. Mm. It's both of them. Yeah, the meat's good. Both the meats are nice. The rice, not really for me. Mm. You don't dry it? Yeah. It's not what I was expecting. The flavor's good, it's like a meat pie. Yeah. Just the texture's a bit funny. That's a big portion as well. Right, we'll eat this up. And then we'll ask someone else what else to have. Right, done. Come on. Come on. Right. Right, so we're leaving that place now. Oh, cool, that was a lot of food. What are your thoughts on it? So we researched it and it's the traditional food from Hanoi, which is great that we tried it. Uh, 
basically it's pork, wooded mushrooms and onions sautéed, put in like a rice flour and then boiled for an hour. Typically as a breakfast or after school snack. The rice flour was very gelatinous. It came with some like pate and stuff and some cucumbers. It was okay. I didn't like the consistency of the rice flour. Uh, the meat was okay. Probably wouldn't have it again. What about you? What she said. All right. Next. <laughs> Sorry, just on the way, still looking for someone else to ask. That rice pie thing. It's not sitting well. It's not sitting good at the moment. <laughs> but um, yeah, I kind of, it's one, this is one of those places where, I, well, as with most places, to leave food is a bit disrespectful. So I kind of felt I had to eat it. And seeing as Katie really didn't want to eat much, I ate pretty much the whole thing. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just won't be having it again, I don't think. But that's fine. We, we, you know, these, you, you find these things out the hard way. Right, let's go find someone else. Somewhere to eat near here. Down here. What's it? No. What's it called? What just around the corner? Just around the corner. On the corner, yeah. Do you see the blue door? Blue door. Uh, the roller door. Oh yeah, this one. Oh yeah. Turn right. Turn right. Okay. okay. Come Thank on. Thank you very much. Who's this? Me. <laughs> what? Go into that market. Oh, is that what they said? Yeah. That's not what we want, is it? What? There could be good food in there. Where's the blue door? Are you sure? No. It doesn't look like a blue door. You want to keep going around more? Where's your door? Look for a blue door. Alright. Do we ask someone? Looking out for a blue door. I don't see a blue door. I'm not being stupid. So this is. <laughs> Just a meat market. I'm looking for a blue door. Because you said you see the blue door. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to have to ask someone else, I think. Oh. So we're looking for something a bit. somewhere a bit out of the way from the, all the eateries. Got it. We have got it. What well I'm in love. She was a student, so she said her navigation is not good, but she's put it on our map. Right, which way do we go? Uh, it's five minute walk away. Good. And we just go straight down here, turn right. Okay, perfect. I think it's a cafe, but I'm not sure. We'll check it out. Okay, let's see what they got. I'm just sticking with the rules of the challenge. So the rules of the challenge were? Only go where the locals tell us to go. <laughs> But if they don't specify what we have to eat, we can eat what we want. But Last place there was, only one there was literally one option. <laughs> well, there was a couple of options, but like we didn't know what any of them were. And they were both the same sort of thing. So we just, I just asked for their recommendation and so be it. That's what we had. All right. Maybe they're just around the corner. And then believe it or not, 
this is going to be the last one for today because I'm actually really full. How are you feeling? Pretty tired actually. I don't know what the time is. It's only like 7 o'clock. <laughs> All day coffee? <laughs> All right, well. That's what she recommended. That is what she recommended. What we got? Hello. Nuts tart. Nuts tart. Do you want to share one? Yeah. No, I'm not quite happy with that. Coffee cheesecake, chocolate banana loaf. Yeah, let's get a nuts tart. Yeah, alright. Hello, Steve. You want to sit here or take a wait? Sit in, please. Let's just explain first and we'll bring the menu for okay, you. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, we know what we want. Oh, sure. Yeah, we only want just the one nuts tart. One That's it, yeah. Yes. Two. Thank you. We just sit here. Yeah, sure. Uh, Unless you want to sit out. No. <laughs> and here it is. What was recommended to us? Yeah. The shop was. We chose the, what is it? Nut tart. Nut tart. Try some. A little flat tip spoon. <laughs> okay, so that was the first bit there. Oh my gosh. You're gonna try the second bit. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it just did that. Oh, it's really hot. It's really it's hot. Freshly baked. It's good, yeah. Describe. Nutty. Tarty. <laughs> Caramelly. Nice. And hot. Right. Well, that'll do for the end of today. Do you have one nut? Yeah, one nut. Well, that is seventy-five. Yeah. Over two quid, yeah. So that is our nut tart uh, all day break all day coffee which actually cost us nearly double what we had earlier. But I mean it was alright, but it's just one of them little kind of bougie coffee places isn't it so yeah so that's it for today obviously we started for dinner and then we're gonna have tomorrow but we will continue it see what happens tomorrow see you in the morning so let's get started we'll make our way to the old quarter and see if we can get some breakfast so we've made it into Old Town. Now just a quick, quick little side note. When you're crossing the road, look both ways. Why do you say that, Ryan? I just got taken out by a moped. <laughs> but no big damage, just, just a little blood, little bruising, nothing's broken, still alive. And it wasn't a car, it was a moped, so we're all good. Right, so I think, you getting hungry? I think it's time to ask someone where we can eat. Who do we ask? Um, do you want to ask someone outside a restaurant? Start this guy. Hello. This guy? Oh, okay. Do you speak English? Yes, sir. Somewhere good. What do you want? What, uh... Uh, anything. We're just trying local, what's really local food. You go in this here. Just here? Yes, yeah, and uh, the top here. You go and the way, yeah. What's it called? Yeah, yes, I mean. yeah, yes, okay. Just here? Just here? Okay, thank you. So he said just here somewhere, but I can't. What's this? Maybe this? Yeah? Yeah? Buncha? Buncha? Are you sorry? Yeah, thank you. So this is all the meals here. What's going on? Oh wow, look at all the meat. 
It's being grilled. It's oh, warm. Sorry. <laughs> Where do we go? Is this is this a restaurant? Hello. Uh, do you just want to share one? Just one. Two, one, one, yeah. Two, yeah. <laughs> okay, two, two, two okay, or okay. one. We only need one. We're eating lots. We're eating. Just one. Just one. Okay. <laughs> well, where should we sit? Here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Gentleman just recommended down here. So you wouldn't even think it looks like a restaurant. Yeah, we just walked down an alleyway. So we'll see. We will see what comes. You don't no menu. They just say I think they all they say was buncha, which I'm not really sure what that is. But they just said one or two. And we got two. So we will no, we got one. Oh we got one? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, spring rolls. So spring rolls. Nice. Okay. Right. So, Thank you. Do you need an ice cup? No, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. So this looks like rice noodle. Yeah, vermic is it called vermicelli? Vermicelli. Vermicelli. Maybe. And then I guess. Let's... Yeah. All together. All together. All together. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Vermicelli, and then you get some. This looks like some kind of meat. Let's try it. Yeah. So you got some leaves, some bean sprouts, some lettuce, some greenery. Sure, greenery, garlic, chilies if you want, two spring rolls, noodles, and then I guess what meat do you reckon it is? Looks like pork. Looks like pork. Oh, that's not real. Is that good? That's actually unreal. <laughs> so soft. Perfect, thank you thank very you. much. Have a good meal. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, it's like a smoky flavour, isn't it? Mm, that'll be from the um, barbecue. Delicious. <laughs> very good, right, we'll munch this up. And then we'll go somewhere else. Ready? Yeah. So let's try one of these spring rolls. So it all comes included. No idea how much this will cost, but. Oh wow. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon it is? I have yes, no veg. idea. It's not bad, it's just meat in there. Is it good? Oh good. I don't know what it is though. Do you want to try a little bit? Yeah. Hold on. So I got this apricot drink recommended. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. It's very good. It doesn't really taste like apricot. It's got like melon. Delicious. Okay. Thank you very much. Delicious. How do you say delicious? How, uh, how do you say delicious in Vietnamese? It's gone. 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 Is that gone? That noir. That noir. That noir. Super. Yeah, super. super. <laughs> yeah. It's so. It's it, so. Yeah. It, it's so. It's so. It can't be Deutsch. It's so. It, it's so. It's so. It's so. It's Deutsch butter. It can't be Deutsch butter. English. 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 Nein, 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 nein. It can't be Deutsch. Deutsch. Ah. Ah. Oh, uh, Germany. Germany. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Have a good day. So this is the spring rolls. That's all the spring rolls, yeah. And then that's where all the cookings, all the pork. So you got pork and then meatballs. Yeah. And then just put it in there. Amazing. Thank you very much. Soup. Oh, the soup. Oh, okay. And that's just like pork, pork broth. Is it fish sauce? It's hot. Yeah. Soup. <laughs> soup. Yeah. Amazing. Hello. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello, the pork, pork meatballs and the noodles. Amazing. Thank you very much. So that's called Ban Cha 74 Hang Quat. Oh, it's only open 10 till 2, so we timed that right. So, 
that dish is typical in Hanoi. Bun meaning noodle, the vermicelli white noodle, and cha meaning pork meatball. So it was. Is that what it means? Yeah. It was, I just Googled it. Uh -huh. It was noodles, um, and you get some bean sprouts, vegetables, you get garlic, chili. The, the dipping sauce is like a sweet sour fish sauce, and you're supposed to get your chopsticks pick up some noodles, some leaves, bean sprouts, and pork, and eat it all as one. And it was delicious. It was so good. Another good recommendation. And the apricot juice that I tried, only found in Hanoi, you said. Very good. Very good. Right. Well, that'll do for breakfast. I'm stuffed. So bear in mind, we only had one between the two of us, one apricot drink and one water. It came to 125,000, which is three pounds 96, which is actually quite expensive. I was not expecting that. So I don't know if it was the noodles that were expensive, or if it was the juice, or what. There was quite a lot of meat. There was a lot of meat, and you get the spring rolls. So, but it's just a set price, I guess. But you don't know what it is until you sit down well, and. We didn't. There was no choice. It's the only. Yes. Oh, well, we found out the spring rolls were pork. Yes, pork spring rolls. But yeah. No, very good. Very good. Not the cheapest, but absolutely delicious. So just walking along the road. Katie okay, wants to ask someone. Do you know where we can find good coffee? Sure? I'll try it. Go for it. It's good? Show you on the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. So he's taking us to, believe it or not, a train street cafe. Oh. So, looks like we're going back to change train street. So just coming up here is kind of where Google Maps, would, if you typed in train street, this is where Google Maps would take you. Now, the cafe he's recommended is actually round the corner. Still on the track. Just, hello. hello. No, thank you. But uh, yeah, still on the track, but just further around the corner. So you can see what happens is they approach you, asking you if you want coffee. But no, thank you. So you go that way down there. That way down there. We're actually going forwards, then left. at the moment. I'll go left and up. We are looking for a certain one. 28 train street. Hello, uh, we're looking for 28 train street. You want to go there? That way, yeah. Thank you. So this is the other side. Hello, this is, we're going down here, thank you. So there is lots of places, but we're going further down. So unlike the further streets, you can see that you've only got the buildings on the one side this way. But uh, still lots going on. Obviously when the trains aren't coming, they use the tracks as, well, a workbench, as you can see there. Sometimes they cook in the middle, set fires. Fires are offerings for people that have passed. No, thank you. 
So, got to find the one we've been told, 28. Which one? 28. 28, yeah. Okay. okay. So, we're sitting here. What's it there? Oh. So, 28 Train Street, we found it. Success. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Look at that fluffy top. <laughs> so, we've just been off again. Everyone's moving the train. No, thank you. We're moving the tables in. We've been chucked in the corner. Four lead check. The three o'clock. Four lead check. Four minutes. Four minutes. Oh, for, for uh, police. Ah, oh, police check. Ah, oh, okay. So we experienced this last time. So last time, the police come down, make sure no one's sitting on the track because actually it was banned a little while ago. Then it's been re reopened in 2024. The police check. But as soon as the police come through, everyone goes back out. Simple. And that's it. So it's a little locking. And we're back outside 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later. But that means train should be, what, 10 minutes? If the time, tell, time scale she says is accurate. Right, so the train's coming. Couple minutes. And I don't know if you can see right there. That's my telephone. Right <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the track. Well, you know, you get a good view of it coming in. I hope I press record. <laughs> right, that's it. So that is our coffee recommendation. And I'd say a very good recommendation at that. Very good coffee. Very good coffee, very good view. Bye Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Thank you. I know we've uh, done Train Street before, but I, don't, I thought it was just as exciting this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I managed to get some great shots by leaving my phone underneath the track, which I was a bit dubious about. But that was good. So that's breakfast done, coffee done. Just gotta go for some lunch. Now I wonder what we're gonna have for that. We're just gonna try and find a shop owner, maybe. I think that, you know, mix it up a bit. Instead of just asking some random on the street. But uh, they're all quite busy. Somewhere to eat. Somewhere to eat. Yeah. Somewhere good. Oh, like, uh, typical Hanoi food. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this one, uh, here. The door. Uh, this. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you much. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. So, this is five minutes away. Some kind of noodle joint, I think you said, wasn't it? He said noodle, so let's go get some noodle. Go get some sausages and some coals. So again, this is a recommended place for a man in a shop. Alright, it's going to be just one of these. Wow. 
doesn't exist unless you meant that one. Have we gone too far? We might have gone too far. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know, have we? Yeah, I must have. Well, it says it's this long sticky outbuilding here, but I don't think it is. Oh, it's this. Yeah, yeah, it's this here. Okay. Yeah. This is us. Hello. We? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Do you speak English? No. This? Okay, maybe one of you want to try one? One, yeah. One? Thank you. No idea what this is. No idea. Not a clue. I asked him... Yeah. What do you recommend? So this is what he recommends? So we'll see what it's like. Right, and this is what we've got. You right? Yeah, I'm just looking what it is. I think it's rice porridge, pork fluff, deep fried dough that comes with it. Okay. Well, tuck in. It's going to be really hot though. Oh, it tastes like cream of chicken soup. Does it? Yeah, really. It's good. Mm. It's just like cream of chicken soup back home. So it's really thick, isn't it? Mm. Really, really thick. Well, it's good. Try it. Yeah. Mm. It's really good, isn't it's it? Really good. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> mm. This is. What's it called? I don't know. I don't know. I'll find out. But this is, I think, one of the best things about this challenge is we would never have chosen to try this. Like, I've accidentally tried a porridge from Circle K before, thinking it was a noodle. It was like a savoury chicken porridge. Oh, there's meat in there, by the way. Sorry, sorry. I interrupted you. Uh, but this is like, we would never have ordered this, and it's actually really good. And this is where the locals eat. We have no idea what we're eating, what it's called. But it's delicious. Do you think it's delicious? Yeah, no, it's very good. Yeah. yeah. Show me the meat. So you got a big bit of bone in there. Uh, but, I don't know if it's pork or chicken or it is. Right, that looks porky to me. And that's pork fluff on top, so that would make sense that it's pork. Mmm, pork. It's very good. And from a distance, oh, we, when we entered this place, <laughs> I thought, oh god, this is chicken porridge and, and tofu, I thought that was. But it's not, it's just deep fried dough. Mm. It's really delicious. It's very delicious. Really, really good. Clean bowl. Very delicious. Um, very surprising. So it was like a, what, a rice porridge? Yeah, rib, pork rib rice porridge. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I can compare it to back home is a, a really thick cream of chicken soup. Mm. But it's slightly pooky. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Had chunks of meat in there at the bottom. Some deep fried dough that you can add in. Yeah. Really good. Super surprising. I imagine on a cold winter's day. Oh, yeah. Really warming. Yeah. That was Very a good, good one. Alright, let's go. So that's what you do. That's just a big meat broth. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. How much is it? Uh, 40. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on. Right, and it's opposite. If anyone fancied it, opposite Cho Dong Huan, which is the big shopping centre. Really surprising that one, but very delicious. And that is the beauty of doing this: is you're trying things that you'd never, ever, ever eat. There is no way. If I saw that, I'd pick that. Never. In, saw what everyone was eating we thought ah oh, it looked like tofu and 
slop. Slop. I mean, it was sloppy. It was just a thick soup, but very, very tasty. Really delicious. Really surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Right. What's next? <laughs> Trust these lads? Hello. Do you speak English? No. No? No, it's not. No, okay. Thank you. No. Oh, yeah. In there? Oh yeah. no, it's too expensive. Okay. Thank you. He must work there, eh? Yeah. So we're on the hunt for another portion of food, but we've come to a kind of a touristy area, which is difficult because one, people don't really want to help. And two, trying to find people that aren't part of oh, a shop. No, thank you. I'm part of a shop or anything. No, thank you. Uh, so I, I'm trying to sell you, you know, their own food and stuff like that. It's difficult. It's difficult. All right, where can we find something good to eat? Hello. Don't I? Okay, thank you. Sincho. Can uh, go to the food tent and give, give me the Google Map. Yes, it's okay. very good. Okay. You, you don't don't have to go this. You search the uh, for sound. Okay. First. And you uh, Google where's Google? Uh, Google. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Go to the 257. 277 there, yeah? Okay, thank, thank you. you. Come much. on. Okay. okay, so we got somewhere. Okay, so we got somewhere. It is an 11 minute walk away. But uh, he also recommended a dish. I can't remember what he said it was called. It'll be on your translate. It'll be on my translate. Translated to crispy stir or something. Make me a crispy stir fried foe, he said. So that's what we got to ask So for. that's what we're going to go for. So let's give it a go. <laughs> right, nearly there. We've walked for about 10 minutes now. And apparently, it's just up here on the corner. This one here, there you go. Is there a table? Wait. I don't know. Oh, is the table there? I don't know. Thank you. Yeah. So it is going by his translation. What was it? Crispy, crispy, crispy fried fur. Crispy fried fur, or something like that. Which, yeah, crispy, bit of beef. Right. Beef is good. Beef is very good. How are you going to eat this? Mmm. Mm, that is good. That is just like crispy. I don't know how to describe it. Does it taste fried? Yeah. Oh. It's nice though. What's like that? Mm, very good. Bit of morning glory. <laughs> what do you think? The flavour reminds me of something, but I don't know what. 
essentially it's fat noodles fried and then on top you've got beef stir fry and what's not to like it's pretty good and actually when you open up the noodle you see inside it's still normal noodle nice I think it's another one we wouldn't have ordered ourselves, not because we didn't like the sound of it or the look of it, but because, well, I've not seen it anywhere. Right. If it is on any menus out here, it's not translatable to English. Well, we had to walk out. Quite far out, yeah. Uh, haven't heard of that dish before. Don't know what the name of the dish even is. No, we'll Google it. We'll add the name of the dish here. But really good. Really enjoyed that. And we'll eat it again. The kitchen there, fine the noodles. Well, yeah. Thank you, very good. Very reasonable, I think. Like just under two pounds. Yeah. What the locals recommend for 24 hours in Hanoi. We've had four dishes that we would, well, didn't even know exist. So we would never have tried them otherwise. And three of the four were nice. Yeah. We had uh, Vietnamese coffee on Train Street. We ate in places that didn't even look like restaurants. And I feel like we've got a good feel of what food in Hanoi is really like now. Yeah. Instead of just banh mi and pho, which is what we ate last time we were here. Yeah, been really good. If there's any dishes we didn't try, we will be back in Hanoi in about a month's time. So let us know and we'll try it next time we're here. Like and subscribe. <laughs>